my name is Kazaya Enimado, and I am the Head of Communications at Facebook in Africa. So the Made by Africa, Love by the World is an international campaign um, that we've launched across Instagram, across Facebook, and it's really about celebrating Africa's growing cultural impact on the world. So focusing on Africa's creativity in business, content creation, arts and music. So it was really about, we wanted to celebrate young people who were telling rich, amazing creative stories, um, but also who were doing really innovative, innovative things. So this is about, you know, hearing some of the stories of such just some of the small number of people that are creating music or fashion or products that are not just being loved by people in their countries or across Africa, but actually the world. Um, and that's why we have people like fashion designers and tailors and accessory makers that are part of this as well. How do you develop a passion for designing, a head for business, and a brand that's helping to shape the image of a new generation of Africans elites and celebrities? So as you say, it's a series. So it's a series of short films, um, and it's really focused about telling people's stories, showcasing their talent, their inspiration, their successes. Um, and we created this in honor of Africa Day. Like, you know, we know Africa Day is a once the moment time of the year. However, this is so apt that it actually is something that we should be doing every day, right? Celebrating the creativity that Africans and Africa has to give to the world. Um, so these are people that are not only just impacting their immediate communities, but they're also impacting the world, whether it's through their music or their arts um, or through their businesses as well. And look, you know, we decided to do this is because, you know, at Facebook, we are deeply invested in the creative industry in Africa. Um, you know, for me personally, nowhere is it more exciting than to see this, you know, really vibrant scene. Um, and we believe that, we you know, we have a key role to play across the continent, especially in supporting and investing in young creative talent. why now we've been as you say we've been doing a lot with creators um and we've been doing a lot with creators for a number of years right so if i think back to what about three years ago or so forth we worked with afrinoli afrinoli is based in nigeria um and we worked with them to really help to empower creative communities um in nigeria through our facebook for creators training program and that was really designed to equip the next generation of content creators uh, with the skills to thrive in the digital world you know if i also think about some work that we've been doing in kenya so you know we worked with an organization called creators garage and they're a social enterprise that works with innovators and creators. Um, and again, our role was really about helping to showcase those stories um, of creativity and innovation to the world. So this isn't something new. Um, you know, we do trainings with creators, as I mentioned. Uh, we also do trainings with SMB. So this is very much a continuation of, of the work that, um, that we continue to do. Jeune femme, grande ville, De grands rêves. Notre histoire et notre héritage est raconté à travers la mode. Bienvenue en Côte d'Ivoire. So, I mean, look, the purpose of the campaign, I think the campaign name says it all, right? Made by Africa, loved by the world. This is really about showcasing to the world the talent, the innovation that we have in Africa. So, you know, the fact that we have fashion designers who are not just creating designs for, you know, themselves or their countries or their communities, but actually the world. You know, one of the videos features a fashion brand called uh, Max Hosa from South Africa. And, you know, his brand has been worn by the likes of Beyonce, Alicia Keys, you know, his designs were even featured in the recent Coming to America 2 film. And he saw the likes of Eddie Murphy wearing his, his you know, his designs. And in his, in his film, which uh, people see, he talks about where he started from. You know, he started because his mum was going to buy, you know, he's from a small township. They saved and saved money. They were going to go and buy a secondhand TV. When they got there, she saw the sewing machine. And she was like, you know what, this is going to be more useful to us than a TV. 
and bought that and that's where his interest sparked. So for me, it's about telling the world that Africa is the place to be. Look, we all know Africa is the future. We know we have the youngest age continent on earth. We know that this is where, you know, future innovations will come from. So it's really about highlighting those stories to the world and just showcasing that, you know, even right now, like we've got, everyone knows Davido, everyone knows Bernard Boy, um, but there are others who are really impacting the world. Yeah, so I think, I think as just as I said, so the criteria for, for, for us was really important. They're, they're from a number of different countries across Africa. It was also really important that they were from different fields, right? So music, from fashion, from, you know, small um, SMBs, even like, look, Mark Angel, who's a comedian. Um, so that was also a really important criteria. And for us, it's really looking at those people who are who are impacting the world through their craft. You know, look, Mark Angel has a master following of over 15 million people globally for his comedy shows. And again, in his you know, show, he talks about, in his series, he talks about the fact that he was rejected so many times from Nollywood. And he was like, ah, I need to, I know that I should be, you know, I'm funny. I know that I should be out there. So he used social media, he used Facebook to really grow his audience. Um, and I think that's the criteria. And really importantly, it's, you know, to show the diversity, not just in countries, but also in types of careers and successes. My passion for content creating started when I was very young. I've always wanted to be a filmmaker in Nollywood, but when I could not get a job in Nollywood, I took it personal. Ta, Uncle Mark, me that thing is hunger. Hunger can make you do unbelievable things. So it's available to view across, well, a lot of people see it on uh, Instagram. So, you know, if you haven't already, I'm sure you're kind of seeing it coming through on Instagram. They're all available to view on the Facebook Africa page. So just head to there and uh, you'll be able to see them all. And there's also been a dedicated microsite that's been built. Um, again, I'll share the link with you so that you can share it with, um, with your viewers that has all of the stories, all of the video content on there. But also really importantly, like look, this is about showcasing talent, but really importantly for us as well, it's also about giving back. So that's why we also decided through the Facebook Africa page to run a series of virtual training sessions that are free. So if you want to know how to, you know, grow your business using Instagram, how to get customers, those are different things. We work with our local training partners who provided those step-by-step -step trainings as well. And that's available for every, anyone to go online and watch and, you know, make use. You know, I would say there's, they should look look online. There is so much content about, you know, using social media, whether it's, you know, Facebook products, whether it's other competitor products, about how you can use social media to really advance if it's your business or your craft. Um, you know, we have a number of uh, training sessions that we run. I think what I'd always say is that, look, there is no one route to success. And I think that's always really important. And, you know, I've given the Mark Angel example. He used Facebook to build his followers. Um, so think about how you're using social media to build your business. Is it that you're using WhatsApp for business where you can directly engage with your customers and you know let them know when the product they've ordered is ready or when something is on sale or what you have to offer? There are so many different um, apps available where businesses or creators can utilize that. Instagram is a perfect example. You know, you've got IGTV, that's full of rich content as well. So first of all, I'd say that Africa is not a country, I beg you. There's 54 countries uh, in, in Africa and they're so different, they're so unique. It's so diverse. Um, so I think that's where I'd start. And I think, look, what makes someone truly African? You know, for me, I always look back at what uh, Kwame Nkrumah said, um, and that's not just because I'm Ghanaian, but it, it really kind of sticks home. So you're not African because you were born in Africa. You're African because Africa was born in you. That speaks to the passion of Africa. That speaks to, you know, the heart and soul. Like, you know, for me, it's the sounds, it's the smells, it's the food, it's the language, it's the culture. So, you know, what I think about what it means to be truly African, for me personally, I know I'm African. Um, you know, it's about the soul of Africa being in my spirit. So that's what I would say. 
look, I would always say watch this space. <laughs> I mean, there's always definitely going to be more um, and we're always looking to do more. We're always investing on the continent. Like, you know, everyone knows that, you know, we announced our second office on the continent, which will be in Lagos, which will be opening um, in the coming months. Um, so we're always, this isn't just a one-off and stepping away, right? Um, I very much see our role as about showcasing talent, whether it's through campaigns like this, whether it's through past campaigns that we've done or past work we've done where we've really been heroing women and women who are making a difference on the continent. And you know, we created a beautiful book with African artists illustrating it to tell some of these stories. So I think this is very much a continuation of what we will continue doing and you know, our role in helping to support the ecosystem, invest and also tell the stories to the world. Look, I think you just have to look at people's successes, right? Who use the platform. And I've talked about some of those, like look at the success of Mark Angel. He used Facebook to reach an audience of 15 million, over 15 million people globally. And that's just through social media. You know, I look at other businesses as well. So, you know, if we look at Jessica, she talks about how she used Instagram to essentially uh, uh, advertise her business to people outside of Gabon, across Africa, across the world. So I would say that, you know, social media, whether it's Facebook or Instagram or WhatsApp or others, give you visibility. So if you want visibility, if you want your products to be bought, if you want people to see your craft, then definitely this, this, is, this is the world that we live in right now. And these platforms enable that visibility in an instant at the touch of, touch of your fingertips. Two words, relentless consistency. I didn't set out to be a fashion designer. I don't guess I remember, I always wanted to look good. Hi, my name is Kaziah Inimada and I'm the Head of Communications at Facebook in Africa.